I've got to say, I've probably developed a pretty heavy addiction over the last few years, yeah. Very addicted to it, Bill. I, I don't think I'm addicted, but... I keep having quite a bit every day. I probably am. Yes, I'll give the answer to that one. Yes, very. do here at St. Ali is single origin, single state, micro life. It's much in the same way that winemakers celebrate the subtle characteristics of grape. to truly understand coffee is to go to origin. Nicky Valentine, he's my man. He understands coffee, he speaks the language, and he's a young guy who likes risk, so he's got the perfect profiling for, for origin trips. In fact, I think we sent him to Sumatra just last week. Boss, what's up? Hey, man, how you doing? What is this? Ah, oh, coffee luck from organic, especially from West Sumatra. Oh, so you talk, telling me that this is cat's poo? Yeah, cat's oh. poo. Oh, so We're people drink the this? Coffee luck you drink yeah. already. I oh, know. <laughs> The civet cat itself, they've been eating a lot of fruits and organic stuff in the wild. So I figured out the taste should be fruity. But back in Australia, we would take about 200 gram of coffee and then put it in a, in a, in a sample roaster, we call it, yeah? And then after that, we would do the cupping session. This is a coffee that uh, Nikki Valentine brought back from Sumatra. So it's known as the shit coffee because comes from poo, but some people think it's just shit, and other people think it's the shit. This is the best that a certain region will produce, and those styles are all about um, authenticity. The most important thing is that the coffee tastes true to the bean. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. pockets of the US, like San Fran, that are just tremendous spots with everything on offer. Our roles as baristas, you know, for a company like Four Barrel, is we're always sort of taking the coffee that we have and, and, and trying to sort of optimize the flavor potential. A lot of that optimization comes from just the dialogue with the roaster. We have a team that comes up with our roast profiles and uh, they experiment with each coffee that comes in. So I try and listen uh, for what people want out of their coffee. Every day we're tasting you know, very minute differences between roast batches. Nobody will know the, the flavor profile of the coffee better than our roaster. In this cafe, we're using the Seneso Hydra espresso machine. We use La Marzocca Mistrals uh, in this store. You know, we work in such a, a fast-paced cafe that I just want everything just to be immediately intuitive and everything just to make sense. What you're able to do with a Slayer, for example, is increase the brew times. What that means is, when you have your espresso, it's like eating a steak. I really like the pour-over method of, as far as brewing coffee. Um, we do have a front bar here at Four Barrel where it gives you the option of choosing any of our single origin coffees uh, to have as a pour over. Well, we've got siphons. They are, um, it's more like an infusion. We're just soaking the flavor of the coffee out with them um, with hot water. And then down the other end, we've got our cold drop. It takes about eight to 10 hours. And then it gives you like almost like a liqueur from the coffee. For my home, I just French press everything. That's probably my favorite way of brewing coffee at home. It's just more delicate, gentle ways of drinking the coffee. The, the natural pairing is always 
a dessert of some kind, like a panna cotta or chocolate souffle, an espresso, that in everybody's mind pairs really well. When you start pairing a siphon to sashimi, that you start getting a bit weirded out by it. Balinese coffee, I do Balinese food, why don't I do a dinner and we uh, we do the two together. The first dinner we did was eight courses, six coffees and uh, I think a lot of people got to sleep about three days later. I don't think you never really explain why you truly love something. That's a question um, we've often asked each other, why do we love coffee? I don't know, it just, it just takes you over. Coffee is the one anchor, it's the one consistent drug that nearly everybody in the world takes every fucking day. Coffee is what brings people together. There's no such thing as an office anymore. Coffee is the new office. It's part of my life. It is my life. It is a part of my life. I'm your pusher man. I'm your pusher man.